<laughs> Good morning, guys. It is our second to last day here in Las Vegas. Don't say that. Just say it's our fourth day in Vegas. We don't like to count up. It's our the pen end. ultimate day. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Abby Singer of. <laughs> we are getting ready to go out to Wicked Spoon to have brunch. Which is, which is one of the nicest buffets in Vegas. I think Bacchanal is probably the nicest, but right. it's probably second, third. It's right up there. It's a really, really good, wonderful buffet over at the Cosmopolitan, which is just not too far down this way. I can actually see it from the window, but in Vegas, you can look at something at your window and think, oh, it's right over there. I'm going to walk to it. And you end up walking for 20 minutes, right. especially because each casino, you have to like go do this to get out of your own casino. And then you walk down and you have to do that to get back into another one. But anyway, but th we're going to walk down the road on the strip and there's a lot of cool stuff on the way. There's like these mm. outdoor, it's like a little outdoor <laughs> Is that signify? Is that the international hand gesture for outdoors? Outdoor, yes, right. Like oh that. goodness! Um, uh, on the street, there's like a little parky kind of area, the little like waterfally kind of things, and little. Is that the international hand symbol for waterfally <laughs> thing? <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna be doing that this morning once we get out of here, and um, yeah, we're gonna have a really good meal. <laughs> And then we might just come back here for a few hours and let Brendan take a nap. Right now he's watching Tumble Leaf on his tablet. And we've actually... We're meeting Kyle and McKenna Gott for dinner. I don't know if we... Did we ever mention I that? I don't know. Kyle and McKenna Gott are friends of ours. They're also YouTubers. Their channel is Got Love, so you can check them out. We'll have links below to everything. There'll be links below to everything. International hand symbol for links below. Links below. Um, but we're going to meet them at Pepper Mill. Right which is a restaurant here in Vegas, uh, down on the Strip, and it's known for huge portions Massive and just portions. fun. That's kind of a fun environment. So we're gonna do that. It feels old schooly Vegas, which is Yeah, cool. yeah. So that's all today. So we are going to wrap this up, get out of here, and start walking down <clears throat> right over there to the Cosmopolitan and have our delicious, wonderful first meal of the day. I thought they dressed the Statue of Liberty up as a beer bottle, because there's a big thing over her. And then I just saw Budweiser down at the bottom. But, and then Kevin informed me that there's actually a hockey jersey, which I can see now that we're coming around the back of it. It's a hockey jersey because there's hockey going on here. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I know about that. <laughs> there's but. hockey going on here. We are now crossing the faux Brooklyn Bridge in front of New York, New York. There's also a guy up there working, changing the light bulbs on the sign. Not New York, New Ork. <laughs> we just passed a guy, an older guy, who had a spam, I didn't even know they sold these things, a spam singles package on a thing around his neck. I didn't even know spam singles existed, yet he's wearing one around his neck <laughs> to walk around. That's kind of awesome. We only see stuff like that around Vegas, out in the desert. <laughs> We've discovered that the middle of the Las Vegas Strip, in little the little gravelly sections, is a great place to find bottle caps. I, I think I see a, that white thing oh. that looks like a bottle. One there. Yeah, there's one there. Should mommy crawl over this thing and hang over there and grab that bottle cap for you? I don't show sure because I think you're gonna fall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a smart decision. Yeah, it's probably best not to climb over there to get that. Uh, that's the Mandarin Oriental. I believe that's Aria back there. I think that is Vidara, those two big towers right there. And I think that over there is Cosmo somewhere back there. I think maybe there is Cosmo. Benedict, the wonderfully perfectly poached egg, about smoked salmon, yogurt with, it says Jamaica crystals, I guess that's some sort of a fruit, beautiful glints. This is my favorite thing at this buffet, their beets, and 
before you think I'm an absolute lunatic for thinking anything with beets is my favorite dish out of this entire gourmet buffet. Let me explain about these beets. There's this pink sauce, which I'm not even sure what it is. This is a cheese. It's called, I believe it's Stracciata cheese. It's something like that. I have to double check the sign. It's this kind of gooey, stretchy cheese. It often has the texture of like a marshmallow, a marshmallowy texture when you stretch it out. And the bottom, this is a hazelnut bean, whatever bean is like crunched up hazelnuts. The combination of all these things on top of the beets, the beets ultimately take on a peanut buttery taste, which I didn't think was possible to turn beets into peanut butter, but they managed to do it here. It's really quite amazing. Huh? Some roast pork, fried ravioli, I guess it's beet ravioli. I normally say never get sushi at buffets, but if it's just a piece of fish, rice and sashimi, then I'll take it. And I just got it because I like the little box. It's, it's just fried rice. Mm. Um, Brendan got some mint chocolate chip ice cream. This is a double chocolate bundt cake. Mango passion fruit. There's even little gold leaf on top of it. So it's got this fruity deliciousness inside. And you dip that in the passion fruit. This is a lemon cake. Oh, sticky, sticky lemon cake. And this is a tres leches cake with a raspberry on top. We got that, which is a double chocolate ganache something or other, but it has a spoon for Wicked Spoon, which I thought was kind of cool. And this is a banana something tart with a little gold on it. Passion fruit banana, maybe something like that. They also have these nifty little cone things. On top is a cream, it's sort of a vanilla cream cream and then it's a chocolate cone inside raspberry mousse and we got for Brendan Ladybug. Ladybug. that's the chandelier bar it's a bar made of chandeliers like this one or that one or this one <laughs> So we are headed out, it is 5.18. Our plan was to leave at 5.15. So this is really good for us. Earlier today, we had planned to leave at whatever time and we actually left at that time too, which is unlike us. And I'm very proud of us for being so on the ball. Anyway, we're headed over to Pepper Mill, no. Pepper Mill, which is a restaurant here in Vegas. It's down a little further down on the strip and we're meeting up with Kyle and McKenna Gott of Got Love. And we haven't seen them since last summer when they came and stayed with us in LA. We just had a huge meal. Like it was actually about five or six hours ago that we ate, but it was a really big meal. But it's all good. We're, we're here to eat. This is like an eating thing. Brendan had a nap. So that's the big plus. It was cute because we had in this huge like king size bed and he was just like this little lump like right in the middle of the bed. And I came in and he was all just like curled up sleeping like a little lump. But anyway, all right, let's get out of here. How's it 520 already? Did I talk for a whole minute? I don't think they're here yet. We're just, we just got in, so we're... This place is cool. There's like trees and flowers and nature in here. <laughs> this is the Pepper Mill. It is a old school Vegas institution. Uh, it's been, been in movies like Casino and Showgirls. It's oh, been yeah. in CSI and a bunch of was other... Was it Casino? Casino. I just started watching that the other night. I've seen it before. I started watching it, so now I want to go back and... I think it's a scene it. with uh, De Niro and Sharon Stone and they're eating. And you can tell by the, uh, purp or the purple and pink lights in the background. Oh, okay. I'll have to go back. That'll be fun. We were trying to figure out what this is. It looks like plastic ice cream sprinkles. Does it come out? What yeah, it? it comes out. Yeah, it's sugar. Oh. I wonder if it's yeah. like for your coffee. Maybe. And they just make it super, super fun. So I found this funny thing on the menu, the barbecue pork ribs. It says, talks about the ribs and then it says served with french fries or baked potato, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. So like baked potato, like the guy who puts the baked potato in the oven goes home at 11 p.m. Or, I'm not, I've never seen like hour limits on baked potatoes before. You just eat it anyway. So. <laughs> this is our gigantic, massive plate of nachos for the table. Look at this, it's like 
what is a pound of beef on here? Yeah, it's a yeah. whole package. That's of what, that's yeah. extra stuff for the nachos? Yeah. yeah. Oh my right? god. This is extra. Uh, this is the side this salad. Is side, this is side side salad. Side and salad. Bread. Like, it's oh my, my side salad. And we're still <laughs> waiting on our main meal right now, too. So we'll see yeah. if we're full by the time that comes. <laughs> with the pepper mill, they don't mess around with portion sizes. I got a Reuben with onion rings. Awesome. I got kebabs with uh, pilaf rice and some vegetables. <laughs> you know, I'm being healthy. I got I got fish and chips with a ton oh of chips. Ours are actually reasonably sized. I think yeah. ours are ours are well this is one order, so it's like we actually got like two sandwiches. When you yeah. think about it, this is supposed to be for one person. Right. This is actually and then we got fruit. His chair that like lays all the way down. Yeah, you got mostly military on yours. This is what YouTubers do when they check their stats at the dinner table. <laughs> you preventing him from going in the street? You're good. <laughs> Alright, what is everybody's overall thoughts on the food? There's a that lot of it. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot of it. <laughs> Huge. It was it's like, so good. I would recommend it. Yes, for yeah, sure. It, it was, was good. Really, really good. The good. nachos were amazing. Just and they came with so many little like accoutrements. Like there yeah, there was like everything. Our table was like, and, like extra dress, like with the nachos too. So yeah. we, we always do <laughs> like right the blooper reel videos. now. Yeah. So whenever we like mess something up, like in a vlog that's coming up, I pulled out a tripod and I'm like, we have this camera, and then it's like, boop, we have this tripod. <laughs> So just show people that like we're normal, we mess up all the time too, and it's just yeah, it's, it's how it goes. It's laugh a part of the it. process. We tried going on this like five day cleanse, and like oh, every oh, day. Oh, I remember that. It's, it's like the most boring video ever. And then every day I'm like, hey, today. <laughs> no, I don't even sound sad. You just sound bored. Yeah. <laughs> You're what, like, did you, what was the cleanse? Today did we did this, and this is what I ate, and I've just been at home all day, and I'm like. So Goodness. Made up, Someone killed your gerbil. Oh. <laughs> we were doing like the bone broth cleanse. Oh, Have you ever heard of that? No. no. Where you like just drink bone broth. And I think people oh. usually do it for like three days. Yeah. But like you eat that for every meal. Oh. Gosh. But or drink that for every meal. Uh -huh. But then we were eating veggies with it too. So like usually people don't always eat with it, but we were. Yeah. But it was terrible. Yeah. I was in pain. I was in pain. My whole body was like aching and like, give me bad. something besides bone broth. It was flushing broth. the yeah. toxins out of your body. Yeah. yeah. Well, it wasn't that the bad one for that, me. The, the, the one that people do is like the, the lemon, lemon juice and, and cayenne. Yeah, and cayenne. Cayenne. yeah, yeah I've yeah, heard yeah. of that one too. Oh. Now, is it something they just drink in the morning or is it a whole? No, it's like you only drink. Yeah, you can drink as much of that as you want. Yeah. You can't eat anything. You drink as much of that as you want. Honey and lemon and cayenne pepper. For like how long? Like a week or something? Something like that. Yes. 10 days? Hard pass on that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna say, we're probably not gonna test that one. Like, we come to a restaurant like this, and then she's like, oh, I'm just gonna have, have my, my lemon tea. Lemon, yeah, exactly. lemon, water, cayenne. Like, you guys just eat, it's good. Yeah, we know yeah. a lot of actors no. that have lost like 30, 40, 50 pounds doing that. Wow. Yeah, just That's like, nuts. like nuts. Maybe I do need to do that. Yeah. yeah. I'm so glad that we got to see you guys. Bye. Yeah. Bye. One more. One more. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Brandon, you want, you want to give me knuckles? This one. Yeah! Do you, know, yeah. Here, do you know how to make it explode? No? Go like this. Hit. Can you do that? Do that. Yeah! yeah. Good job! <laughs> We had a really good time with Kyle and McKenna tonight and their friend Katie who we met for the first time. We are linking those channels below, so check them out. They're really awesome. I think you'll really enjoy their videos. So because we did not eat enough today, we went and got frozen yogurt. And we actually went because Brendan was such a good boy at the restaurant. He was so patient. We were talking for a long time and he was just standing there and sitting there just being a very good boy. So we got him a treat. It was our last pig out of the day, we think. For today. <laughs> for today. Until tomorrow. Tomorrow's our last day in Vegas, but we're going to, we're not really in any rush. We don't have any big plans. We're just going to get up, check out of the hotel, eat somewhere on the way out of town, and then head back home. Brendan's not happy to leave. He wants to stay in Vegas forever, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe, and see you next time. Good. I need to know.